what up, what up? It's your boy Plan B85, man. I'm back with a quick review. Probably one of the dopest apps I've ever had a chance to get my hands on or even test. Today we're talking about Chomplet from the good folks, the brilliant minds over at MSX Audio. Um, the same guys that bought you Low Fly Dirt and also Fly Tape. This is their latest installment. And I get I will I'll go on to say that this is probably one of my favorites that they that they have dropped. So without further ado, man, let's get into it, man. Chomper. All right, let's jump right into it, man. As soon as you open up the app, uh, everything is pretty much straight to the point and laid out for you. Uh, the great thing about this is that you can use it as a standalone or you can use it in your favorite DAW on the iPad, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I prefer Beatmaker 3, and later on in the video, I'm going to open up a sample where I use, open up a session where I use uh, Chompler and we're gonna rock from there. Uh, but let's 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 see what we're working with here. Um, let's start with the browser. Uh, as soon as you go here, click these three lines up here, and this will have uh, any samples that uh, are preloaded or samples that you have purchased um, from the store here. They will show up. Anytime you download any of these, they'll show up right here um, in the browser. Uh, and you can preview. I think it's dope. You can preview some of the melodic samples. And you double click. Once you double click, it'll show up right here. And it's already chopped and mapped out for you like so. You have your effects will hear, low fly, drive, echo, reverb, flanger, dirt, low pass filter, high pass filter. Um, and you can also save presets. Say for instance, you have, uh, and uh, you wanna do the echo. And with this controller here, you can change how much echo you want, how deep you want the echo to be. Even with the reverb, same deal. And if I like both of those, I can hit A here, hold it for a quick second, and it'll automatically be saved there. So I can always come back to it and use it on any other samples that I like. Low pass filter. And the great thing about this, you can automate a lot of these also if you're using it in your favorite doll. Dirt gives you a little bit of grit. Give you that little record effect, flanger effect. I love that. Of course, the reverb drive. And the low fly. All right. And they have more parameters right below the brow the sample window. You can choose when you want to start your sample. Uh, you can use this data switch here um, to pretty much change any of these parameters here. This data here controls this. These effects only control this. So if I want to start my sample a little later, or if I want to end it later or sooner, I can do that. Of course, attack. it's pretty much the roll off at the end of the sample tune now the great thing about this tune you can actually pitch uh you don't have to pitch the whole thing you have the actual actually the option to either pitch each of the samples all at once or you can just pitch one uh chop at you know any given moment so with this one here If I apply that to all, it'll pretty much pitch everything. So be 
that's my address. Also the volume, you can change the volume of a different sample, sample chop. So if you don't want all of them to be the same volume, you can change that. The pan from left to right. And then the loop here, which I think is pretty cool. You can actually hold down one sample and it'll just loop it for you. Yep. And the reverse, same deal. It is what it is. And what I, since I still have all selected, it is setting all of these to every sample chop. Um, if you're one of those people um, like myself who has had the pleasure of using the ASR-10, um, this is pretty much the digital version of that app. Uh, I believe Kanye used to use it along with the MPC. Um, it has a lot of those same parameters. It has that same feel. Um, what didn't we go over? Polyphonic. Polyphonic will give you uh, pretty much it... Uh, plays plays every <laughs> plays the whole sample it kind of bleeds into some of the others I'm gonna take this effect off I'm kind of sick of that I'm over that right now <laughs> and we're gonna take the re uh, yeah reverse off of there chromatic chromatic will pretty much pitch whichever sample you have selected across each of the keys here Um, you have your reset and then you have your settings here, your settings, um, your buffer size, uh, your MIDI, uh, MIDI channel and controls. You guys know how to use that. Uh, you have key settings here. You can change the keys from white to black or um, change the octave range. And also the key labels. We're going to keep it black. Black is dope. So, yeah. So let's open this up in Beatmaker 3 and see what we got here. Let me hit plug in here. And of course, I have it already loaded. Uh, and this is this is probably one of the, this is really a dope sample. I like this. I'll show you guys what I did with this here. And I didn't really do any changes at all. Um, I didn't really add any effects. I kind of kept it as is and just uh, and went from there. But. say I will say this this is one thing I did with this 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 one this particular sample right here was a little loud for me so I went to the volume and I actually brought it down it's actually a different volume from some of the others well it didn't set this time but okay that's fine that's fine it didn't set this time but it's cool but it worked out but yes there's one thing I wish that this thing could do, and I wish that you could import your own samples, but that'll probably come later on. Right now, you're only, uh, I, I don't want to use the word limited to because you have, uh, they have, MSX Audio just has a crazy amount of samples and just sounds that you can just, you know, manipulate, chop, and just do what, you know, just pretty much expand your creativity with it. In the future, there will be some new effects um, and some new parameters and things that, you know, will take shape. Um, I don't know what, but uh, during the testing phase, um, you know, we were able to get some information on, you know, some stuff that they may bring to the forefront uh, later on. But uh, this here is this, uh, like I said, I can't call it a sampler. Uh, <laughs> M-Simp checking 
in the uh, in the forum and was like, yeah, don't throw don't throw that uh, sampler around. It's it's chompler. Chop. It's a chopper and a rop and a rompler. Chopper and rompler. Yeah, yeah. If you don't know what rompler is, like I said, Google it. <laughs> um, but yes. Uh, by the time you see it, you watch this video, the app will be available in the app store. I will leave a link in the description. If you enjoy this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and happy creating, you guys. More videos on the way, man. Peace.